Welcome to day 12 in the Get Productive system. This is where things really begin to get exciting. And this is where everything we've been talking about starts coming together. So hopefully you are following along and taking the steps. So far you should have signed up for Evernote. And then in the last video we also showed you how to easily set up your Evernote email so that anything that gets thrown at you in your e email inbox you can simply get that into your system in Evernote. So today I'm going to talk to you about a second component and that's Workflowy. It's an awesome, free, simple productivity tool. Remember Occam's Law that we talked about a few days back that the simplest solution is inevitably the best solution in most cases. So I've been a part of using a lot of to-do productivity tools, online GTD type tools. And like I've mentioned before, I think one of the biggest challenges is that many of those applications tried to be everything and they tried to be right for all people. And so any little suggestion that was thrown at them, they implemented it and suddenly you have this complicated system that actually encumbers you from getting things done. And so what I'm about to show you with Workflowy is, has been revolutionary for me. It's a simple tool. Um, I can also include other people, other people that work with me on projects um, to be a part of it and get things done as well. But before I show you the tool, I really wanted to kind of show you a little bit of the process so that you understand the simple mechanics that are involved here. So I'm going to attempt to try to draw this out. So let's just draw a stick figure of a person and let's say that that person is you. And you're getting all kinds of stuff thrown at you. So if this represents your email inbox, this could represent something else as well. And you just got all these things being thrown at you throughout the day. And a lot of times we're remembering this stuff on our head or we jot it down on a piece of paper here and there. And we have lots of different ways of processing all the stuff that's getting thrown at us. But what I, what I want to propose to you is that you set up a simple process, a simple productivity system that the more you use it, it becomes a habit in your life. So one of those key components is something that we've already talked about and that is Evernote. And Evernote is great for any type of PDF or document or Excel document or blog post that you've read, anything online, an, an email that comes with an attachment um, or anything that somebody wants to send you, you can automatically just send that to Evernote. Now I've created in Evernote my default notebook labeled as Inbox and I'll be talking about this later. And then underneath of that I have folders and each of those folders are labeled um, like you would A to Z, a regular reference file. So everything gets thrown into Inbox and then from Inbox I'm processing that. Most of that is just reference material, documents, reports, PDFs, things that I need to remember. Um, maybe I've found some research on a vacation I want to take and I want to remember it. So anything that I want to remember for later, a reference file, uh, gets, gets thrown in there. Now also at times there will be actionable items that come from my email that get thrown into inbox and I'll actually, instead of creating or putting those into one of my reference files, they'll actually go into Workflowy. So let me just create this here. And again, Workflowy.com, it's free, doesn't cost anything to use it. And so at times stuff that gets thrown in my inbox I will just quickly add into Workflowy for getting things done. Now Workflowy is great for many things and I'm going to show you in just a second but I love it as a to-do list. 
to-do list. It can use it as a brainstorming tool. You can use it to document processes like work processes or just about anything um, that you want. You can just get it out there and it works in the same way as Evernote because you can go back and search for certain areas. So the idea here is that everything is getting tossed in one way or another into either Evernote or Workflowy. Most of the stuff that's getting thrown into Workflowy is stuff that I'm processing and I'm working on actively. It's, it can be a project list. It can be your areas of focus that I'll show you in just a second. And Evernote's really to capture all the reference material that maybe you want to look to at a later date. So hopefully it's not too complicated. Hopefully you see the power of it. So let's just jump over here to Workflowy. And I'm going to just actually just create a brand new one so that what I've already done does not confuse you. So we'll start with a real fresh copy here. So you just simply put in an email address and then whatever password you want to access it. And as soon as you do that, you're actually going to get logged in to Workflow. And as you can see, it's all about organizing your brain. It's great, like I said, for brainstorming, but also for creating to-do lists. And another point I want to make is that this is a real simple tool, and I don't want you to, to overlook the simplicity of it. So it's important that you understand that sometimes the simple things is what works best. So as you can see, I'm this is where it is this is where it starts now it will pop up and show you some uh, introduction videos that you can go through and you're welcome to go through that if you want to get down some of the keyboard shortcuts things like that but we're just gonna jump right in so let me share with you you know a few critical things that you could do you could make one and this is just kinda like a simple tree hierarchy type system so you can type something in like inbox and then you can tab over and everything that you type in uh, is just getting stuff out of your head. So you can type in things like So you, as you can see, you can just kind of tab and everything fits under it. And then what you can do is you can actually minimize all this. And by minimizing it, everything kind of falls underneath that. So there's a little uh, minus right here. I can click that and it minimizes it. So then I can start something new. The one that I would recommend that you do, fitting with our system, is remember our areas of focus. This is how I have it labeled. So I've got areas of focus. I'm just going to type mine in. And keep in mind yours might be different and I'm sure that they are. But these are my top areas of focus. And so what I can do is I can drill down into this. And hopefully you're beginning to see how I can quickly get all of this stuff down. Okay, now, once you kind of get that stuff down, you can begin to um, get it done. And I'm going to be, I don't want to cover too much in one day, but my goal and challenge for you today, and we're going to build upon this again tomorrow, 
but my challenge and goal for you today is to sign up for Workflowy and jot in your areas of focus. So again, we can we can minimize this stuff. And so I've got my areas of focus here. Anything that's kind of got this circle around it means there's content underneath. One more feature I'll show you because you can have, you know, ongoing list like if you if you had a project or whatever it is. Whatever I I don't know whatever else you want to use this for for brainstorming, but what you can do is by clicking right here on this bullet point it actually narrows it down so that I'm just looking at my areas of focus and remember again we want to spend 95 percent of our time here in the course of our day our week our month these are the areas that are most important to us that we want to make sure that we're uh, propelling ourselves forward and accomplishing goals in these areas so that's my challenge again this is all about simple steps so I'm not going to go much beyond that I'm going to show you um, how to move forward from here but my goal for you today is to sign up for Workflowy come in type in areas of focus get your areas of focus down and if you want to go ahead and jot in some some to do's that's okay uh, because we're going to show you later how we're going to begin to use this in a logical process so again this is all about setting up the systems get in there get inside Workflowy get comfortable with it write in your areas of focus and get all that in there